Hey, Fred Lamb here and welcome to our Shopify Masterclass. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk about how returns can actually kill you and your business. So now first let's talk about what are returns. Returns are when customer receive the product and they are asking you for a refund and wanted to actually ship back the product to you. Now, when you run your Shopify business, because you are actually transacting real money, you gotta make sure that you handle your refunds and returns the best way possible. Because if you don't handle this properly, you can be out of business very, very quickly. So let me talk about first, how refunds and returns can kill your business. If you constantly sell products that are very low quality and that is easily brickable during the shipping time, then obviously you are going to be wasting a lot of money and you're gonna be losing a lot of money because first, you gotta pay for the ads. Second, you gotta pay for the shipping. Even if the vendor decides to actually refund you the money for the products because there is a product problem, you still have to pay for the shipping. That goes above and beyond what you have collected. So when you're running your Shopify business, it is very important that you look at the reviews and what people are saying about the product before you even sell it. And most importantly, you wanna make sure that the vendor is a legit vendor. There are a positive feedback score in AliExpress for you to actually see how these vendors are doing. And you gotta make sure that all three of the ratings are all above average. And again, if you don't handle returns properly, not only are you actually gonna get financially impact, but you may actually lose your processing accounts. And this is where a lot of people start getting what we call reserves. PayPal or Shopify payments or other payment provider decide to like, they are gonna apply a 10 or 15% reserve on every transaction that is coming in. The reserve is really in place to protect these banks. It's not really because they wanna screw you over, it's because they need to protect themselves. And in order for them to actually see that you are running a legit business and not to apply a reserve into your accounts, you gotta make sure you keep your refund at a minimal. And the goal is to actually get less than 10%. 10% is already considered very risky for any payment processor. So if you are actually selling products and you're getting almost a 10% return, seriously, stop selling that product. You're gonna be damaging your brand and also you are going to actually be affected when it comes to payment processing because 10 to 15% on reserve can really hurt your cash flow. Now, last but not least, when it comes to brand, your name, if customers start talking to each other, commenting on your post that your product is absolute garbage and it's trash and it's not working, then what's gonna happen is that Facebook is gonna penalize you. Facebook has a satisfaction score right now. So if you are actually using Facebook just for your advertising and they survey your customer to see what they think about your product and if they give you a bad score, you are actually gonna pay a lot more in advertising than you need because you are not selling products that are great. So seriously, returns can really kill your business. And you wanna actually look at your business and do a calculation to see what your return rate is. And when it comes to e-commerce, your goal is to get under 5%. If you can actually get under 5%, the banks are happy, customers are happy, and you are going to actually minimize the amount of money that you would actually have to dish out for these refunds and returns. So keep that in mind. Go take a look at your number and share with me right below in the comment box on what your refund rate is. Mine is actually hovering at 3%. It is way lower than five. But I want you to share with me exactly what your refund rate is. And if it is over 10, make sure you pivot right away.